Good morning, traders. So we're still using the Bill Williams theory and uh, right now looking at the DAX. So I'm starting off on the weekly. I just want to highlight um, a couple of things here. So firstly, on the oscillator, we do have a double bottom on the oscillator. Um, not not 100% convincing that uh, it is a, a reversal pattern. But uh, nevertheless, we've had two green weeks. I was bias stepping at the bottom here. So that is fairly significant at the moment. And um, I think what we want to do is just highlight these inside tails here. And you'll see that was the previous breakout. Okay. So every tail tells a story. It was a battle to get through here for quite a long time. Then we did get through it. And now we've stopped below it and we're coming back to test it. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, more recently, there is my breakout. That one there. Okay, and that breakout hasn't been retested. Now, the last thing I want to point out here is, that was the move, there was the consolidation, then the break. So this is my measured move after a retest. Okay, so what that telling me at the moment on the weekly is there is potential for either a, um, a move off this level, and I'll give the levels to you just now, or alternatively a move off the higher level. Okay, so in other words, rally back up into this area and then another move to the downside. Okay, so let's just have a look at the daily just to see what kind of price action we have here and um, a bit of a congestion consolidation and then we have this massive bar up but look at the oscillator grouping to the top underneath the alligator I'm looking for shorts okay and you can see every time we are below the alligator and the daily groups up in this level we have a move to the downside okay so there's no reason for me to believe that this is not going to play out again. So we are looking for shorts. And let's just get down to the four hour. You'll see the four hour oscillators are grouped here. Even though the four hour has broken through the alligator, still looking for shorts. The short may only be to come and test one of these breakouts before continuing, but that's all right. Um, right now we trade with the trend and the trend has been down the uh, if this is a change in direction it hasn't been confirmed yet confirmation is going to be to come back down and test this breakout okay so that's kind of um, kind of my view at the moment so the daily trend is down and uh, this is a a pullback inside the daily trend so i'm looking for to con trade with the trend and to continue to the downside. Okay. Uh, let's just have a look at the hour. Hour you can see as well, we are grouped to the upside here. There's a lot going on. I'm falling short of this level here. And I just want to have a look at where the futures market is at the moment. Pretty flat, 10.8. Okay. So, levels to watch. The first level to the upside is... 10.842 and the next level to the upside is 11.049 okay so those are the levels that we need to watch for today and bear in mind that there is also a daily gap further up as well okay so a couple of things um, I'd definitely be looking for a short off one of these levels. I suppose there is another area there. So there's an inside uh, tail over there. Price has come past it, come back to test it. So somewhere between this is 10, 8. 10880 and 10840. Somewhere between there, I do expect that we're going to have some downside. 
Okay. If that fails, then looking higher up for an entry. So I think the, the easiest trade today is going to be to wait for that first hour of um, trading or the, the, the pre-market, that hour pre-market. Um, have a look what happens. If we break to the upside of that first uh, hour, let's call that first hour trading a range. And if we break to the upside, then expect more upside. If we break the downside, then expect downside. So I think that's one of the trades that will work out today is the opening range um, breakout. But um, a couple of things. So looking at the lower time frames, if we do move to the downside, I'm looking for a potential long of 10.640. Okay, that's kind of uh, what we're looking at. Um, but uh, alternatively, I think I'm first looking for the short. And I'm looking for off 10.840 or 10.880. That's the first area. If we get through that, then uh, I'll be looking to try right it to the upside until we get further resistance higher up at 11.049. Well, actually, it'll be between 11,000 and 11.045. Okay, so that's kind of uh, my view on this at the moment. Um, I know we had some good dates on Friday, which is what why the markets rallied, but uh, for a trend change to happen, I want to see a retest. So in other words, I want to see it rally a little bit, move down, come and test this, and then we start moving in the upside. Okay, so that's kind of the view I have. And uh, the way we're too far away from the alligator at the moment for me to be looking for a long so I'd rather look for the short move to the downside and then look for my long down here. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this for today. Um, hope it helps and uh, keep those stops really tight and I'll catch up with you guys later. Cheers for now.